Hi guys, it must really worry number 10 when they send out Laura Trott to defend the government's position and that's what she tried to do when it came to the non-DOM tax benefit. First, the Chancellor Jeremy Hunt explained his U-turn on dumping the policy when it would bring in desperately needed money for the Treasury. Then Laura tried to explain why it was a good idea to keep this loophole in place. Remember, we're talking about a few billion here that was one of the ways of paying for the proposed tax cut. Anyway, let's have a listen to what Laura had to say. Well, one of the things that uh, Jeremy Hunt was very critical of in the past and obviously uncomfortable about um, was the call from Labour to scrap what they call non-DOM status. Well, there was a big U-turn today. Let's have a listen. You haven't done anything about non-DOMs. Why not? Well, there's a a non-DOM regime in Ireland and a non-DOM regime in France, and these are foreigners, and I would rather wealthy foreigners spent their money in Britain because that supports jobs in in our shops, in our restaurants. In the end, I've tried to to avoid anything that damages long-term growth. What's changed his mind? Well, we've always said we want a fair and competitive competitive tax system. Uh, This is a change it is a reform i think it's a good it's a good reform Mm. uh, which will mean that we have a very internationally competitive system but we also uh, raise money in a fair way right i mean he did say of course then that he didn't want to do anything that would damage long-term growth but he's changed his mind he doesn't think it will The reason is, is because this is a reform system. There's lots of uh, complicated detail around uh, what you can do in this four years. You're able to bring all of your assets over here now, which is a slight change to what has been done previously. Uh, We think that is a positive change. Uh, We're also putting in place some transitional arrangements to allow people to bring uh, their assets over here who are existing non-DOMs. And we think that is, uh, strikes the right balance between being competitive, but also being fair. Laura Trott, Chief Secretary. (laughs) Does she actually understand what she's talking about? Or does she just have these talking points given to her by number 10 repeat it's fair repeat it's been reformed repeat people can take their assets over now back to what jeremy hunt said this will allow we want people to spend money in shops we want people to spend money in the local uh, community but removing the non-dom tax status doesn't change that people will still spend money in the local community um these foreign in, these foreign uh, nationals who are living in the united kingdom but have their money generated from abroad like why is he doing this this could have brought in not a huge amount of money we're talking maybe 2 or 3 billion pounds which is small change in the grand scheme of things but it could have actually helped fund public services this is what labor were planning to do and now it's gone now he's actually going to implement cuts to public services that he could have actually boosted with this money this is this is to help the richest in society this non-dom tax status is not for ordinary people it's for the richest in uh, for richest foreigners living in the united kingdom including for example rishi sunak's uh, wife <laughs> okay she has benefited from non-dom tax status this is to help them it's not and this ridiculous idea that you'll hear in response to this is well if we tax these people more if we tax the richest people in society a little bit extra what they're going to do is they're going to move abroad no they're not most of these people have assets um in property their their wealth is in assets like property uh houses things like this that they can't liquidate overnight we're not talking about people with huge bank accounts we're talking about people with vast amounts of wealth and they can't liquidate liquidate it and just transfer it into another country and even if they were to try and do that of course there would be massive penalties for trying to get this amount of money out of the country so look this is a, this is scaremongering when it comes to convincing the public they need to keep this in place and of course the ex- who who's paying at the end of the day it's ordinary people because public services will have to take a br- take the brunt of this they will have to face the cuts because jeremy hunt and his ministers here want to protect the richest in society now back to laura trot why is she a government minister she obviously doesn't understand how the non-don status works she she's been given some talking points i probably know more about it than she does and she works at the Treasury. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.